Hello, today we'll tell you about our work on learning space partitions for nearest neighbor search. This is joint work with Ia Dong, Piotr Indyk, Ilya Rajasain, and Hal Wagner. We first discussed the first K nearest neighbor search problem. Given a data set of points and a query point all in RD, we want to find the query's K nearest neighbors in the data set. In real world systems, we often get a large number of query points that we need to search for as fast as possible. Since finding the exact nearest neighbors can be too slow, it is common to return approximate nearest neighbors. One useful method to find approximate nearest neighbors is by space partitions. In this method, we partition the space into regions where each region contains a subset of the data points. For example, in this picture, you can see the regions marked in different colors. Given a query point, we check which region it belongs to and look for nearest neighbors within that region and possibly nearby regions. The more regions we search, the longer it takes, but the more accurate the nearest neighbors will be. This approach has several important advantages. First, we only compute distances from the query point to a subset of the data set, not the whole data set, which makes the query time sublinear. Second, this method is well suited for distributed computing, as we can store different regions on different machines and search them in parallel. So what makes space partitions good for nearest neighbor search? First, we want to return accurate nearest neighbors. Second, we want the partition to be balanced in that each region contains roughly the same number of data points. Since the runtime of each query is proportional to the number of points in each region and nearby regions, this would ensure that answering any query would be fast regardless of the region it belongs to. Third, we want the partition to be algorithmically simple, meaning that given a query point, we can quickly compute which region it belongs to. There are many existing ways to build space partitions for nearest neighbor search. The classical locality sensitive hashing constructs partitions which are independent of the data set. Other methods try to fit a partition specific to a data set, like k means. Our goal is to leverage the power of modern supervised learning, like neural networks, to learn even better space partitions. Our method is a two stage process. The first stage is combinatorial graph partitioning, and the second stage is supervised learning. For each one of these stages, we can plug any of the many existing off-the-shelf solutions, which makes our framework very general. In our implementation, we use the Kahip algorithm in the first stage and small neural networks in the second stage. We call the resulting algorithm Neural Locality Sensitive Hashing, or Neural LSH. Let's go into a bit more detail. In the pre-processing stage, we get a dataset, and we build a k-nearest neighbor graph on the dataset. Then, we find a balanced partitioning of this graph that cuts a small number of edges. For example, here, you can see the KNN graph of this dataset partitioned into a blue part and a red part, and the cut edges are marked in green. Then, we train a learning component on the graph nodes with those blue and red colors as their labels in order to generalize the partition from the graph nodes to all of R2DD. For example, here, the learning component may learn this purple hyperplane as the partition. When we get a query, we run inference through the learning model in order to classify the query into a bin, or maybe to get a ranking of the most likely bins. For example, here, a small neural network may tell us that the query point is more likely to be in the blue bin and less likely to be in the red bin. Then we search for nearest neighbors in the highest ranking bins. For example, here, we would first search through the blue bin. And if we have more time and want to get more accurate results, we also search through the red bin and so on. In practice, we are going to have more than just two bins, and the learning component may learn more general classes of partitions than just hyperplanes. Here are some experimental results on two standard benchmark datasets for nearest neighbor search. On the left, you see GLOV, which is a dataset of word embeddings, and on the right, you see SIFT, which is a dataset of image descriptors. On the x-axis, we plot the number of distance computations we perform per query, which is the total number of points in the bins that we search, which we call candidate points, and this is a proxy for the running time of the query. On the y-axis, we plot the k nearest neighbor accuracy, so higher is better. 
For each algorithm, we plot both the average number of candidates and the 95th quantile. The average corresponds to the runtime of typical queries and describes the throughput of the data structure, whereas the 95th quantile corresponds to the runtime of the slowest queries and describes the latency of the data structure. As you see, we do better than K-means clustering, which is the most successful baseline that we have tried. For more results and more baselines, please see our paper. Our code is on GitHub, and thank you for listening.